Let's yeah, this the, wow. does this sink in. Yeah. 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 I like it a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you to bring it with you. Or? Yeah. Cool. All right. It's Pete here with 21 Pilots. So glad to be able to join you guys. And yeah, so you guys are on the Emotional Roadshow Tour. You guys have been doing it since, uh, what, like May of last year? Yeah, I think so. so. I think it was like May. After this one's done, after this kind of like winter portion's done, it'll be the same tour for about a year. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So how many tour dates have you had on this whole tour so far? I think like 947. Um, yeah, that's quite a few shows a day. That's that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, we yeah do, it's way we more. Do I four do shows it. a day. Yeah, four shows a day um, in different cities. It was crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. that's impressive. We got a little jet to go back and forth. Between them. Yeah. No. No, we use no. air, air hot air balloon. Nice. It's a lot quicker than you'd think, especially if you, you know, catch the winds just right. Yeah. Well, I've seen a bunch of interviews with you guys, and uh, one of my favorite questions because it's always such a fascinating story is how you guys met. So I worked at a hot air balloon store, which you when you think hot air balloon, you don't think of a store like a, you know, four walls and a thing, but, you know, someone needs to make the basket and, you know, that's not going to happen in the middle of the field. So I was working there and uh, I got a phone call from some guy and he called me and he's like, hey, I need four baskets pronto. And I was like, no one says pronto anymore, dude. And he was like, whatever. And uh, I was like, what's your name? He's like, Josh. I was like, Okay, come on in. And so I made him four baskets for his hot air balloon. And what did you ever, what'd you use those for? Well, I was taking some friends and family out to, uh, on a tour, different tour that I was on. Mm-hmm. Um, with a different band? Yeah, it was a different band at the time, but the, they, they were no good. So, um, and what was their name? It was called the uh, Lumineers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, don't, I, don't, I don't cut that part out. I don't know why that like name came to yeah. mind first. <laughs> oh. Um. There's literally nothing we have against them either. No, yeah. literally, like I, I like them. They're good. Yeah. Um. The no, we were the basket heads, and that's why the baskets were important because we only used it. one basket for the because there wasn't that many of us, but the, our friends and family were there. So anyway, yeah, I, I needed those. I already had the balloon. Yeah. <laughs> he just made baskets. So I was like, yeah, I, I need. I yeah, need I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't running what you would call a one-stop shop. You know, I provide a part of the hot air balloon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a basket specialty. So I needed those. Um, I had everything else, and and um, so he, he, I, I was I was so impressed with his quick service and the craftsmanship of that basket that. Uh, I was like, do you know what? I, th- I think I'm kind of sick of this band, the Basket Heads, um, and it's not really that cool of music anyway. It's it's uh, it's like kind of boring. Uh, I didn't even play the drums at that time. I didn't know how. Um, I actually was just the photographer. Hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I was like, would you like to start a band? Because I think the drums would be fun, and and <laughs> you're you're really good at what you do. Um, so that's when we started that, that yeah. day. Wow. And now you have this amazing musical prowess that yeah. we bring to the table yeah. Yeah, because of our background. <laughs> well, since you guys uh, started the tour, I mean, you've had a lot of mainstream success. Um, you've had three songs which have been in the top five of the Hot 100. So do you think it's really changed much like in terms of your fans? Do you notice much difference between when you started to how they are now? There are a few more date nights going on at our shows than usual. Not a lot. It's not like, it's not like the traditional date night concert. But every once in a while, you'll see, like, the dude and the girl that are there because maybe they won tickets in some way or maybe stumbled on someone who knew, and then they kind of show up not really knowing what it's all about. And then, and then, uh, then their, fels, their faces get melted off. Uh, but other than that, no, not much different other than just bigger crowds, more people. Gotcha. Now, in terms of some questions from Twitter, we have a few fans wondering, how do you guys have so much energy when you go out to a show? Is there any kind of secret before going out on stage with stuff that you guys do? We don't use our legs until the show starts, so all day long people are carrying us around. All makes sense, this couch is amazingly comfortable. Yeah, that's, so. yeah we, I made this. I, I can tell. I don't know why it's I said great that. That's, not, that's not even a funny thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think since we started, um, and especially just being two of us, I think we've kind of, like, we've fed off of each other, but also felt kind of a obligation to be make up for other band members or lack of band members that aren't there and um, try and be as energetic as possible and put on as exciting of a show as we can 
um, that still exists. I think we both get really excited before we go on stage, and um, we still try and be as energetic as possible. Gotcha. Who's your favorite person you've toured with so far? Ooh. We've toured with some cool people. Um, I think a special one for us was Mute Math. Um, that's a band that we used to go see their shows like when we were first starting um, playing in a band, and they've just been inspiring in every way for us. And you guys put out some music with them, right? A yeah. months ago? Yeah, you yeah. put out an EP with them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was cool. We, we got into a studio. And our experience with them up just touring was so cool that we wanted to continue that kind of uh, dynamic. So we, they did some kind of like remixes of our stuff, and we performed it live, so it was fun. Gotcha. And you got any plans to head back into the studio anytime soon before the next tour? Before the next tour? No, we have to write the record first. I don't know. I don't know how it works for other people, but I, we don't go into a studio going, "Okay, we got no ideas. Let's make some ideas." That like our record's written, and then we go into the studio. So we have we need some time. Uh, on a tour, a different tour that I was on. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a different band. Yeah, it was a different band at the time, but the, they, they were no good, yeah. honestly. Um, and what was their name? It was called the uh, Lumineers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't cut that part out. I don't know why that like name came to yeah. mind first. <laughs> oh, um, there's literally nothing we have against them either. No, yeah. literally, like I, I like them. They're good. Yeah. Um, 